Welcome to Rehash! On the internet where old news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what happens today. Hey guys, this is Double Egg and Bros, and welcome to Rehash. Thank you so much to Mine Anarchy who provided our intro today. If you'd like to do the same, link in the description to where you can provide an intro and get a meaningful spotlight at the end of any of our episodes. Right. So, uh, we got a couple of newsy type whatevers that we'd like to discuss with you, the Freedom Family. Um. And I'm going to let you go first. Alrighty, so first off, I want to talk to you guys about how to YouTube. How to YouTube? Yep. Okay, I'd like to talk to the Freedom Family about a popular website designed to help people cheat on their spouses has been hacked and people's information has been given out. And then you wanted to talk about? Some more unfortunate events happening in Florida. Uh, why Florida? It's always Florida. I don't know what it is. Ah, uh, and then I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family, and of course you, yeah. you, you too, about a squirrel that went berserk, but this time not <laughs> in the first self-righteous church. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's get into that. So since you talked about your topic first in the beginning, yeah. you get to go first now. So how to YouTube. A lot of YouTube content creators, myself included, have always had a struggle when we first began creating content. Not all of us had the right foundation when we started. Not only that, but tubing of the use is yeah, hard. Exactly. So a freedom partner, a freedom partner, okay, made an absolutely hilarious video, pretty much, you know, saying this is what you need to do to do YouTube. Sorry, I look homeless right now. Just cope with me for the next couple of minutes. I don't even know if I'll be able to get through this because. Uh, hungry as hell. The camera. The base. If you're gonna do YouTube, you need to record, and to record, you need something to record with. Let's see what we have. The T3i? Nah. The Mark II? Nope. Mark III? Okay, we're getting there. Ah, the Canon C100. Still sh**. Alright, so we don't need to waste our money on any expensive editing software, so just open up Windows Movie Maker. Okay, so open it up in Adobe Premiere Pro because I already know you already have this torrent. Now this last part usually depends on how good of a PC or laptop you have. But when you render, make sure you render it in 4K. But you're probably going to be like, oh, my phone doesn't record in 4K. That doesn't matter. Upscale video quality, maintain aspect ratio, and you're good to go. Once you've completed this procedure, it should look something like this. <laughs> Awesome! Yeah. Link in the description if you want to check that out. As with any of the things that we talk about here on Rehash, go spam them with hashtag Rehash, let them know they've gotten the Freedom Family hug, and then let's go ahead and move on to... Uh, oh? Yeah. Uh, so, I'm not a fan of people cheating on their spouses. Um, and I need to, uh, to say that because this is kind of a weird, sticky situation. I personally believe. So, a group of hackers hacked into Ashley Madison, um, which is a popular um, uh, website where people go and, you know, they find people to cheat on their spouses with. That's the entire purpose of the site. It's not a regular dating site, right? And so all of their information um, has been leaked out online. So if you've ever used this website, I suggest, um, well, first off, don't. But second, um, yeah, you might want to go and uh, buy some flowers for somebody yeah, you love. because you might have been caught. Yeah. So, that being said, um, I am curious if you were in this situation where you had used this website and now your information is floating around on the internet somewhere. Yeah. Who do you blame? I would blame the website for not having better security and myself. So, you don't blame the hackers? No. Not at all. See, I, I, I don't know... Uh, it's hard for me to put myself in that position, but if I were to to be in that situation, right. I'd have to blame myself. I'd have to blame Ashley Madison and the hackers, but mostly myself. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section down below. In this situation, who do you blame? Um, okay, so, and then you had a new detective, thing? Right. So before we dive into that, I'm going to turn the water cooler off because it's extremely loud. It's making random noises. Oh yes, please do. Hashtag production issues. <laughs> so some more unfortunate events happened in Florida. Oh, and it didn't for that. Well, that's wait, really... wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. At Florida and at a Walmart. Exactly. And uh, I don't know what it is with you, Florida. Do you need help? Do you need my assistance? So for the most part, unfortunately, a man had passed away in a Walmart parking lot 
For not one day, not two, but for several days, a week, he had been passed away. <laughs> several? Several. Several. S several seven. Sev several. Leon. Too many days. He, yeah. He's been in a Walmart parking lot, unfortunately passed away or deceased for up to several days or more. Now, they don't know the exact date, but that's just a rough estimate. Now, the body was discovered due to a foul odor and an extreme Wait, amount. how would you be able to discern a foul odor in a Walmart parking lot? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the body was discovered because of a, a very foul and distinct odor and an extreme amount of bugs, said to be cockroaches, ah! that were crawling inside. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I know, I'm done. It's gross. It's, it's gross. Done. I know. It doesn't surprise me that this happened in Florida. Right. Because we've been covering yeah, Florida a lot. Yeah. And it doesn't surprise me that this happened at a Walmart. Parking lot. Walmart, Florida, get your stuffs together. Yeah, hybrid. All right. And then, so, I have a doozy. All right. So, some of our viewers may know of a song by Ray Stevens called The Mississippi Squirrel yeah. Revival. Yeah. And now, in the song, it was the day that the squirrel went berserk. <laughs> in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. Now, this did not happen in the United States, but a squirrel did in fact go berserk in a bar. Hey. So I don't know if this squirrel heard the song and said, hey, that's my cousin. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But this squirrel got loose in a private bar causing around $500 worth of damage. The fact that he caused any amount of damage is still insane. Well, the, okay, so when, when, the scene was being um, investigated. Mm -hmm. um, it was being investigated because there was a lot of noise, broken bottles, and money everywhere. So if you <laughs> walked into a private bar and you you were looking at busted bottles everywhere, money all over the place, what would you think? I would think, hey, well, why didn't you tell me about this sooner? I would want. But to like be you there. work there or whatever. I'd, I'd be intimidated. I'd probably leave. I'd be terrified. You'd be thinking, okay, we're getting robbed. Yeah, there's a robber or, somewhere. Yeah. Am I going to be shank shot, killed? I mean, what's that? Well, no. Um, so they found the squirrel and they captured the squirrel. And they, they did not kill the little furry creature. And they let it go. And it was said, according to the BBC, that's the British Broadcasting Corporation. Yeah. That it staggered away. <laughs> yeah. This little guy was drunk off his little squirrel butt. Yeah, and he went to town. Yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, that's about it. We don't have pictures, though we might try to Photoshop something. Who knows? Um, that pretty much brings us to is it everything? Uh, yeah. All right. That means that we get to talk next about the partner. Hey, let's go. Today we're talking about Mine Anarchy. Now, normally on this show, we have a couple of different kinds of spotlights. Yep. We have spotlights where we basically say, everybody check this channel out because it's awesome and they've got their stuff together other than maybe one or two notes that we have. Yep. And then we've got the other kind of spotlight. This is the other kind of spotlight where we have to give you a little bit of tough love. And it's not with light hearts that we do this because we would we would love to sit here and say that everybody it rocks and everybody's got their stuff together. Right, but as YouTube content creators, if we give you some helpful advice and you can actually use it, you can grow from it. You know? So, um, now with that being said, um, I'm noticing a lot of um, a production issues here. Um, now you're doing stuff on on tablets and on mobile. It's causing some black bars. I would suggest you find something to fill that space on either side yeah. where those black bars An are. Overlay, face cam. Um, I'm not saying to stretch your video. I'm not saying to do anything like that, but do try to find something. Try to find a standard that you can follow. In addition to that, thumbnails. If you are not willing to put an extra 20 minutes, sometimes even an hour, I know people are gonna find this hard to believe, but sometimes I'll spend an hour, hour and a half on an Im uh, on a thumbnail for our show. Yeah. Um, and if you're not willing to do that, you can't really be discouraged by the lack of views. You know, it's like advertising. Um, also, I'm noticing a complete lack of links in your descriptions. You've got playlists, um, but you're not linking those playlists in your descriptions. So it's very hard to find. Um, you're not um, linking cards um, to you know those playlists or other videos in those playlists or uh, annotations. 
it seems like you're missing a lot of opportunities and the actual time that it would take to do this is very minimal. Well, I mean, if I could suggest anything, and this is running the right foundation. When I visit your YouTube channel, your logo completely uh, doesn't even describe your channel. Your banner says Call of Duty Ghost, which Call of Duty Ghost tends to be a more of a relevant title now that, you know, the more relevant titles of Call of Duty are coming out. You're uploading a Gario one day, you're uploading I'm Minecraft. I'm also not seeing any recent videos that have anything to do with Call of Duty. Exactly. And not only that, but like you've uploaded Call of Duty way in the past. I mean, this is finding the right foundation of what you want to do. Are you a Minecraft player or are you a Let's Player? Find the right foundation of what you want to do and stick with it and grow a fan base on that title. But I mean, I mean that's all I can give. If if you're looking to do like mobile games and you just want to do mobile games, that's fine too. Build something based on that. Um, but whatever it is you do, you do have a lot of issues here that I would love to see you um, sort out. Um, and I, I invite you when you feel that you've you know sorted that out. Re or do another intro for us, and we will gladly talk to you, counsel you again. And this goes for anyone who's done uh, a previous rehash intro. If you'd like more advice, if you'd like to just let us know how far you've come, go ahead, resubmit. Just not with the same video, because, you know. <laughs> right. But, yeah, so um, that, that was some tough love. All right, now... We uh, need to talk about the... The comments? Uh, yeah, comments. We did it backwards today. Yeah, I know. Nah. But it's still good. Comments! Let's, right. Let's go. Comment number one comes from Gabriel Amaro, who says, Freedom version Spanish. Lo siento, mi español es muy malo. Que dile support. Tu necesito existir en español y no problema. I have no idea what you said, but I... I told him to tell support that he needs help in Spanish, and it's no problem. You hear that freedom support? We'll get to it. Yeah. All right, and then comment comes from number two. Comment comes from number two. It's comment number two. He comes from SL Productions. He says, "Bet you this comment won't get in the video." Oh, never mind. Well, you're in the video. Right. SL Productions. That is, if we put it up on screen. Yeah, if we did put it up on screen. All right, and then comment number three. Hey, NSL official says, "When will we get stocks?" Well. That's a pilot program that we're we're looking to develop. We don't really know. It really depends on when we go IPO. That really depends on our growth going forward. So it's not, we can't set a date for it because we can't set a date for the IPO because we don't know what our growth charts are going to look like. But as we all grow together, the hell? I'm not, Dude. No, 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 come on. As we all grow together, that will become a little bit more clear down the road. Um, so pretty much, uh, yeah, it brings it easy. Every now day. we can end the video and you can pick your nose in, in peace till next time. Don't forget to like subscribe and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye friend and family.